Alright guys, welcome back. Um, kind of a special video here today because I just finished a special game and I was waiting for this moment to really be able to talk to you about this game because, um, you know, so many of my game discussion videos, I try to do them sort of, you know, I try to give an early impression, especially with new games like Skyrim or Skyward Sword, but from the moment that I started playing this game, um, I knew that I wanted to finish it before I talked about it. Um, and that game is To the Moon, and it's by Freebird Games. There'll be a link down here in the description box for you guys to check out uh, the website. <clears throat> this is a a, um, a digital download only game, and um, it's about twelve dollars to download twelve dollars US to download the game. And um, the website says it's about a four and a half hour game, but um, your playtime might be a little longer, a little less. It just kind of depends on you know how fast you get through the puzzles. This is a phenomenal game. Um, I came across it just kind of skimming stuff on GameSpot of all places, and they gave it an 8. And I kind of looked into it, and I noticed that the graphics looked um, like a 2D RPG from the Super Nintendo era. era. And instantly, um, my brain was just, you know, I was just there. I was like, okay, I want to see more about this. So I read some of the article, and I kind of got really excited about it. And then I went to the website and watched a few of the videos on the website and got really excited for it. So then I just finally downloaded it and played it. And um, <clears throat> from a gameplay standpoint, it's, it's not the greatest thing ever. And I'll talk about that for a minute. But from a storytelling st standpoint, it is phenomenal. Um, Storyline-wise, I'm not going to talk about it too much because this is a game and a story that you need to know nothing about. And, um, but just the, the bare bones story to kind of pique your interest is, um, it involves this man named Johnny dying and there's these two scientists <clears throat> that he contacts and what their job is, they work for a corporation. It's kind of like eternal sunshine of the spotless mind in reverse. Instead of going in and erasing memories, they go in and change your memories to kind of grant you a deathbed wish, your your one wish. And Johnny's wish is go to go to the moon. And um, I'm going to see if I can do this without crying because this, this story was really, really good. Um, but you go through Johnny's life and you figure out sort of why he wants to go there. And when you realize <clears throat> why he wants to go there, it, I'm not going to lie, I cried. Um, and I'm, my voice is getting a little, and it's, it's crazy, you know. I'm, I actually really like this. I like that you're getting this on, on camera, and I'll, I'll, we'll see how brave I am to actually post this vi video if I uh, redo it. But, um, you know, I'm a sucker for a really well-told story, and uh, this is a really, really well-told story. I'm not going to lie. Um, when I got to Act 3, I started kind of, I didn't cry full on, but, you know, your tear, you, you well up and you get that pain in your throat, like, you know. <clears throat> anyway, so that's the storyline. I'm not going to say any more about it because um, I really want you guys to experience it firsthand. Gameplay-wise, I do want to talk to you about the gameplay because um, I can see it being a sticking point for some people. And it looks like an old Super Nintendo RPG. And there's two ways you can sort of play the game. You can play it with a mouse and keyboard, or you can play it with a um, joypad, which I played it with my USB Super Nintendo pad. And it worked fine except for one part. Um, but, um, you know, it, it, it's not your typical Super Nintendo era RPG. There's no battling in it. And actually, there's a really funny joke about um, why there's no random battles in this game. Um, but what you do is you jump from memory to memory because you start at his, uh, Johnny's most recent memory and work your way back. And how you do that is you um, find these things, you find mementos, like significant pieces of the memory. And, you know, each time you find it, it's always locked with like a, an orb around it. So you have to go around the stage, which they're usually pretty small. There's only a couple times where the um, 
the stages are really big. You have to go around like, you know, it'll be like the inside of Johnny's house or something. And you have to search for these sort of um, storyline elements. I mean, it doesn't give you like any hints what they are. You just kind of have to walk around and, you know, press the A button, or in this case, the B button on my joypad until you sort of find them. And then once you find five pieces of memory, you know, it'll show you on the bottom when you've collected them all. You go over to the memento, and then you have to solve like a, a little basic puzzle. Like, um, let me just use this. Like, um, let's say this was the puzzle. You know, it'd be like a, a six by six square, and there'd be some squares that show you the um, the item, and the other ones that are blank. And what you do is you select like the rows and the columns to flip the picture around. And, um, like, so if you had, like, two squares that showed the picture and three squares that showed nothing, when you flipped it, those two squares would go to nothing and these three squares would show the picture. So it, they're kind of simple puzzles, but there were a couple that I had to kind of sit there and think about. But um, the game keeps track of how many moves you use. It gives you, like, um, a, like the minimum for the puzzle. And it you know shows your current number of moves. So I don't know if you do like every puzzle perfect, if it gives you more storyline or whatever. I know like the early puzzles, I didn't do them perfect because I didn't realize I didn't you know catch the counter over there keeping track. But um, you move through the stages and you sort of solve you know um, these puzzles and move back into Johnny's memory. Um, that's kind of what Act One is. Act Two is kind of really short and story driven, and Act Three is also story driven except for one point where you actually have a little bit of an action sequence and you have to use um, like it has like the W um, the WASD buttons you know like you use for like online shooters first-person shooters um, it'll have you use those to sort of throw items around the stage to you know get past certain things I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to ruin anything in the storyline but that you know, it's easier to do with the keyboard than it is to do with the controller. Um, I know it sounds like I'm talking gibberish right there, but when you guys play the game and you get there in Act 3, you'll, you'll figure out what I'm talking about. But, um, let's see, I talked about the storyline, I talked about the gameplay, the graphics. Um, they're really kind of on par with Final Fantasy VI. I, I, they're better, of course, because they're on an HD screen, like on your computer. Um, but, you know, think like that kind of graphics. They're not going to blow you away. Um, but they are extremely beautiful, and you know if you like 2D sprite graphics, you'll love it. The music is phenomenal, and it's actually very simple, very muted um, music, but it really gets under your skin. And the main theme, uh, um, really, you know, once you hear it, you're you just your heart breaks. So I'm actually really uh, the website has um, some way of getting a hold of the soundtrack. I think it's just a digital download also. But I'm really thinking about um, downloading the soundtrack to have because uh, I think it's 50% of the proceeds from the soundtrack sales goes to some charity. I haven't looked into what charity it is. But um, definitely go to the website and check out the game. The only complaint I have about the game is the uh, the gameplay is a little you know like the puzzle thing it gets a little monotonous but luckily that's only in Act One um, the characters when you're moving around the stage with a joypad I don't know how it is with um, using a mouse but it's very uh, very kind of they move kind of slow sometimes but you know you're not moving like great distances so it's not really that big of a problem um, you know if you play with a sorry about that burp um, if you play with a controller. It plays pretty much just like a you know Super Nintendo game. If you use um, the mouse, it kind of controls like you know Diablo, where you click on a place and then the person will walk there. So that's how that works. But um, definitely, the website's down in the box, guys. Go check it out. Go check out some videos. Um, don't spoil yourself on the story. I I'm telling you, if you guys have any interest in just really touching, devastating but beautiful storytelling. Um, go and just download this game without even thinking about it and just play it and you know if you don't like the gameplay that's fine but I guarantee you you'll be moved by the storytelling so um, that is my special video you guys got to see me kind of be uh, a little emotional because I mean I literally just beat the game and I'm just sitting here kind of thinking about it I mean 
you know, there's there's these certain types of shows that just or certain types of things, stories that just devastate you. Like I remember the first time I saw Six Feet Under, the final episode after watching all five seasons, and like I was a wreck the rest of that day. So this is kind of one of those things that sticks with you afterwards, and it's kind of funny to see how like uh, 2D sprites and you know just their little you know sprite expressions. You know, like the Final Fantasy guys when they do the you know that kind of thing. It's kind of like that, but when they do their little expressions and you know, just the, the music and the story, how it all comes together, and it really does move you, these little pixelized people on the screen. But um, the game is to the moon. Um, it looks like it'll be of one of many in the series involving these two scientists. Because, um, I don't know, I, th I think the, the, the Freebird games, I think they're going to continue... Whatever the, the big name of the big series is, this looks like it's just, just episode one. So um, definitely go check it out, guys. It's only $12. Um, I don't know what the exchange rate is for, you know, f countries, foreign countries. You'll have to look into that. But um, it's definitely worth the $12 to have this kind of an experience. So check it out. Um, I'm going to go and uh, pretend I didn't film this video and cry in front of all you guys. So... Alright guys, take care. I'll see you next video.